Well, we've got the farrier here stand and we're doing Lottie's feet. So this is Dan and uh, it's time for their uh, trim. Stand up, stand up Lottie. And Lottie's not behaving at the minute. <laughs> Good girl, steady up now. Good girl. Good girl. All right, that's better. Good girl. Good girl. Right, so they have the feet done every eight to 12 weeks. Uh, like Dan said, we are a little bit behind. Um, but if we don't keep on top of the feet, they can f finish up with all sorts of problems. Overgrown feet for one, but there could be anything in there. She could finish up with stones, which could lead to abscesses. There could be foot injuries. Uh, and obviously it's, it's to keep them balanced as well for the horse so that, you're, uh, that she's walking okay as well. They don't have shoes on because they don't need them. They're not doing very much road work. Um, so uh, th th there's no need for them to have shoes on. Um, obviously if they were up and down the road, we need to put shoes on just to prevent them wear, doing too much damage. Uh, but no, they don't need shoes on at the minute. Be a good girl. Lottie's behaving really well at the minute, but we'll keep his fingers crossed as we get to fed up halfway through. Don't we? Yeah. Right guys, Sean is here from Donaldson's Vets. We're going down to do Orchid. As you know from previous experience, we know that Orchid doesn't like her feet doing so. We need the vet here just to give it a little bit of sedative to allow Dan to do his job. Well, we're doing Orchid, uh, but it's also Will's turn as well. So we're going to put them both on a head collar um, and let Shona do a magic with Orchid. Uh, but we'll have a head collar on and here we'll go afterwards. Oh, this morning we're going to sedate Orchid again for Dan to have another look at her feet. Um, so um, we're hoping just to get her, take the edge off her a little bit. Giving the sedation is fairly simple. Um, Dan's got the fun job this morning, so his job's definitely harder than mine. Um, so as long as roof holds are nice and still, we'll be able to get sedation straight into the vein. That's kind of the most difficult bit about it, really. And then there's a bit of witchcraft involved, just making sure that we get the right dose so that she doesn't go too sleepy and fall on Dan, but she's sleepy enough that she's not walking off and being naughty. So that's the aim. Good girl, good girl. Right away, Will. Yeah, good girl. Oh, good girl. Oh, look at that. See? You didn't great. stand this still for Mike, did you? No, you didn't. Yeah. When I got the knack. <laughs> she said, what did yeah. you do? <laughs> You've got big old feet, haven't you, Orchid? I'm glad I'm not picking them up. It should take sort of maximum five minutes really just for her to go sleepy enough to do something to start on. Orchid does not like her feet being touched at all. Um, not even picking up, never mind Dan doing the farrier work. So to make it safe for Dan, uh, we have to give her some sedation so that he can actually get on with the foot uh, without the risk of uh, Orchid kicking, throwing him off, hurting him basically, or herself. Um, so it's uh, just the safest all way around at the minute. She's proper sleepy and Dan's managing to do that front, front foot relatively okay. I'll not say relatively easy because it's not. <laughs> See, I didn't say it, I didn't say it. Name that program. Anybody? Uh. The idea is that with some work and me think, give, keeping my fingers crossed is that I can try and get orchids so we can do her feet, her feet without sedation. Now, she, it's, it is very ingrained. She was like this when we got her and she's an older horse so it's going to be very much an uphill struggle but I never say never. So it's just a case of working with her and keep yeah, repeating we uh, what we're doing. Dan's given the audio to that. Do you have the strength, the speed, the heart to be a winner? It is, it is Will's, uh, Will's Yeah. Back. Um. So we, we, we do know he's had his front feet done at, uh, well, in was it stood. It was a good look. Obviously he's, he's not used to this, so it's all new to him. Good boy. Good boy. But at the minute he's doing okay. We'll see how it goes. It's really important from, good boy. Good from boy. sort of four weeks down the line really, from a month, because we've got um, growth plates within the Ooh, steady within the bones in the in the oh leg and boy. foot and as they get older and um, develop those growth plates which allow growth um, 
then turn from being like a cartilage back into a, well not back into a, but into a bone and form the Hey, 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 form the bones hey. of the limbs so it's important that everything's nice and balanced so that those growth plates are growing at a, a nice even rate they're not compressed at one side more than the other um, so that we get nice straight limbs um, which is obviously really important for uh, the rest of the life for the weight bearing and if you do have to go into work you know you want Whoa. everything to be to be nice and even that they've got a, a nice even platform to work from so yeah it's uh, it's mega important No, I really didn't like one foot doing, but we have managed to do it um, with some persuasion. He's now uh, not a happy will at the minute, he's a bit grumpy. So we're going to get his uh, head collar off and uh, give up Silly and let him calm down a bit. Silly boy, aren't you? Yes, I know you're stroppy, aren't you? Stroppy. Wait. 